He's the author. Yeah, yeah. but it was the one reason why this would even happen because we haven't spoken about Alex Earl. Alex Earl and Brooke Schofield, they have a lot in common. We're going to be talking about them today. This video might be taken down, so please leave a like share the video, download it, whatever, because it might be taken down by the lawyers of Alex Earl. I might actually have to speak up. Now that she's publicly losing business deals, if you're not aware, Alex Earl's old Tumblr posts have been resurfacing of her using racial slurs. She was 14 at the time of posting these. I'm her not apologizing or addressing her audience is leaving a bad taste in people's mouths. And over the weekend, Larsa Pippen and her brand decided to drop Alex Earl publicly, posting these two Instagram stories stating that they refuse to work with anyone who condemns racism. Let me know your thoughts below and um i just want to preference that it might be one of those videos okay before i go any further i did my makeup today check it out i did it with the uh i got an npr the winks you guys remember these as a kid growing up winks the other one palette oh my god thank you to color palette they sent me like the whole entire winks collection and one of the things before i go any further we get into this deep top topic about alex earl and brooke this right here i think out of the whole entire collection you should pick it up, but check it out. Look how beautiful this highlighter is. Look, it feels like jelly. It's like nice and cold. Look at that. Oh, that color. So pretty. That's what, it looks way better in person. There you go. It looks way better in person than it does up here. Okay, so there's lawsuits that's being filed. So thank you, Color Pop, for sending this to me. And we're going to be talking about that because it's not looking good right now. So this video, um, I, I, did, I did not know what I was going to make today. And I opened my my little news outlets and i found out that alex earl is getting called out for using the n-word and we're gonna be talking about it so she has this um this image of like picture perfect party lifestyle i think she's 23 or 24 and apparently when she was 14 years old she was using the n-word like nobody's business right well this got leaked out by what people are saying is a close friend of hers and it's not shocking this usually happens when it's like a jealous friend or something like that i'm not excusing what alex earl did but it seems like there's a magazine that is really out to expose her and demand answers as to why now alex earl is a millionaire this article popped up that alex earl gen z millionaire exposed for her you know past for her slurs she hasn't addressed it and people on tiktok are calling her out so it is giving a little bit of like brooke schofield but however i think brooke did apologize three times i might be mistaken by that by the time making this video but like from what i remember or heard at least brooke did something but or is she just brushing it under the rug like brooke like i remember in the beginning brooke didn't do anything and from a pr standpoint the best thing to do is get ahead of it and talk about it but here's what people are saying on tiktok about it what a disappointing turn of events yesterday tweets came out Tweets came out from a, a very big influencer. The influencer is Alex Earl. These tweets, allegedly and for entertainment purposes only, were discovered from 2014. So I guess she was around 15 years old and she was using a very profane, racist slur. I, am, as an adult, as a parent, am very disappointed. I honestly looked up to this girl for my kids. I was like, minus the party and stuff like that. But she kept herself out of drama on TikTok. I know we all have a sordid past, I get it, but I think we're all taught from a very young age, that is a word you do not use. You may think you're cool and sling it around and, oh, I didn't use the ER at the end. No, you still use the word. You still are implying the word and that is a horrific, hurtful, degrading word. I know it's a PR nightmare and she is probably preparing an apology, but in my opinion, you knew that was out there you knew you've used this word before. You probably should have come forward a while ago and just say, hey, this is out there. I apologize for my actions. This was disgusting behavior. This is not who I am anymore. And maybe we could have grown from there. But the many girls that look up to you, this is very disappointing for them. Just when you think maybe there's a good one. Well, then it gets even worse, okay? Because Alex Earl's legal team is now suing a podcast. Like, yeah, but if it was you were wondering why this would even happen, because we haven't spoken about Alex Earl in a while, it's because someone posted on our subreddit on the like heels of the Brooks Schofield stuff. Well, Alex Earl apparently has her fair share of a racist past with using the N word a lot on her Ask FM. And so people posted screenshots of that in our subreddit. And her lawyer said that they have a trademark to that, which is like, you trademarked her racist Ask FM things? Like, Literally, what? I was like, oh, that's a creative tactic. It is crazy to me that instead the method to get rid of this, because that's, first of all, unrealistic to begin with, but 
is to trademark them and try and get people like to copyright take down. That is insane. Like you're only draw like Streisand effects. In, in I was full, flabbergasted. Full we have weird ass people who have a lot of money and just try to make things go away. Alex Earl had her lawyers email <sighs> us. I have to say it. I can't keep it in. It is the weirdest shit I've ever seen. They emailed us first of all, thinking that we have any control or association with our subreddit, even though it is stated multiple times on every single post that we have no affiliation with that. We don't moderate that, it. Yeah. We don't have any access to it. And either way, her lawyer contacted us and said that we have violated their copyright. Oh, no, no. We have violated like a, a dozen thousand laws, rights. according yeah, to this email, Janet including like money laundering or something. Like it's Janet level, like you're gonna go to jail for years. You know, and I know I made videos about that podcast, but I was like joking, poking fun at it. So I hope you guys don't think I'm upset. It's like, it's, you know, I'm just a troll. But anyway, so here's the lawsuit that they're going through because Alex Earl, here we go, roll it. Oh, I just know Fanita is mumbling and cackling somewhere in her room right now. People just don't know who to trust anymore, especially after Brooke Schofield's racist tweets have been released. And now we have some unearthed racist comments from Alex Earl herself. I believe this is one of those sites where you ask somebody questions anonymously and they get to answer. But you can see many times that Alex Earl said the N word repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. Okay. Child, at this point, I just think we don't know who to trust. We don't know who is okay. Like, I feel like white influencers back to back to back like this being um, exposed for their racist past and probably their current racist selves is just proof that we need to diversify the platform on here. My question is, is Alex Earl even going to address these allegations because she's not much to really speak on things during the Finita situation. She kept quiet during the whole thing. Her comments were bombasted with people trying to get her attention or to speak on the subject. And I highly doubt she will speak on this one. Like who is next? Okay, grab a snack and come. We have a lot to talk about. I have a lot to talk about. This out. Okay, I broke my mirror, so I don't. I only have like pieces of it. All right. <laughs> okay. I have a lot to say about this topic. I have went through a similar situation before in the past, and the best thing to do is just to address it. And I think what Alex Earl is doing by not saying anything at all, she's making it worse for her. Her fans want to know if this is true. She hasn't confirmed or denied it. She can say it's fake or anything, but she hasn't said anything at all. Put this on Reddit. Left, left a little comment because I think they went to school with her. Okay, so maybe she didn't go to school with them, but let me read to you what the poster said. Alex Earl saying racist things on the N-word when she was when she was 15. She also bullied she also bullied POC girls in high school for having their hair texture and shouted on the streets of Red Bank, New Jersey for Mexicans to go back to go back where they came from. I've posted these before and she has blocked me and it didn't go viral. So hopefully this time people can see who she is and that she doesn't deserve this platform. They, they also got blocked for, by her and I can show you that if you want to. This user thought that was the picture they put. It's so interesting that I haven't seen like news sources really demand anything from an influencer, but now Alex Earl is like a celebrity in a way now. So I think it's different. And I do see brands, I could see brands pulling away and like not like working with her anymore because of that. Especially because she's not owning it. Like if she was to come on camera and say, hey guys, you know what? Like, ugh, get the camera. I effed up, I messed up. And when I was 14, I was in a different place and I was saying this and did, and I said that and I wanna apologize for those words and really like say that, it would at least give her a redeeming factor. It would at least be like, well, she's a villain, but you can see she's trying. So there's like a redeeming factor of that, but she's not even doing that. She's just ignoring it altogether. She recently posted like a get ready with me and people in the comments were asking her about it. And apparently she, she was de that. denying it. Allegedly she was deleting comments or maybe her team was, but like, I'll show you the video. I'm gonna go to Alex Earl Instagram account and her TikTok account. So here's her last video that she posted. It got 2 million views, all right? She, her last three TikToks, 2 million, 2 million, 2 million, 2 million, is 2 million views a video. This is the best soup to make. This is our recovery chicken noodle soup. My roommate Kristen's been a little sick, so I wanted to make this for her, so you put the chicken. That was 17 hours ago, a cooking video. In the comment section, so good. Yeah, babe, there's no soup. Uh, this could never make me like you. Silence is wild. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a little 
eye emoji in the comment section. They could never make me like you. Silence. Where? Why are you silent? Your silence. I think Earl, would you not? Do we know them? Podcasts. Like the people in the comment section are actually really coming for Alex Earl right now. And it's so interesting because most of the time the creators are blocking it or whatever. But you can see the comments here. Alex, they're eating you up in the comments, sis. Like these comments are right here. Like I see them in this video. What about the TM? The ain't never see Alex post a cooking vid. The pressure's getting worse. Like, exactly. We never seen her post a cooking video and here she is posting one. So, it's very bad. It's not looking too good for Alex Earl right now. So many more people are speaking out about it. All right, we have an update on the very demure girl. This is editing Rich Lux here. Well, we talked about yesterday that her ex-lover came forward and said that she had blocked her. Remember that? So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, if you didn't catch yesterday's video, let me get you caught up here and let me roll you the clip of the guy who said that got blocked. So I was at an influencer event in LA this weekend and I walk in and I immediately see the demure girl, right? And I'm like, oh my God, I want to make a TikTok with her so bad, but I didn't want to be cringe. So I'm like walking around and I'm like, when she's not busy doing interviews, whenever else I'll go up to her. So I'm like standing by her and this guy comes up to me and he's like, hey, how's it going? And I'm like, good. And he's like, I just want to say I love your content. And I'm like, oh, thank you so much. And I introduce myself and he's like, do you want to meet my friend? And I'm like, your friend? And he's like, yeah, this is like the demure girl is my best friend. And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. Like I was like, I actually really wanted to make a TikTok with her. If that's like, would she be weirded out by that? And he's like, oh my God, no, I'll literally ask her for you. So he like taps her when she's done talking, doing a little interview thing. And he's like, hey, this is Jeff. Like, remember I showed you his TikTok, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, oh my God, yes. So she like had seen my video or something, right? And so she's so sweet. She's like, yeah, let's like, let's make a TikTok really quick. So I make the TikTok, this one that I posted. And we finish the TikTok and I'm like, how are you? Like, how's everything been going since this demure pop off? Like where do you live? She's like, I'm in Chicago. And I'm like, oh my God, like you should move out to LA now, blah, blah, blah. How do you like it? Like we're having a full on conversation, right? And so I'm like, yeah, like it's my birthday. I'm having a birthday party. If you guys want to come, definitely feel free to. So then I, you know, follow him, the guy who came up to me and I send him my party. Well, then I come on TikTok and I was going to post the video. So I'm like typing it out and I'm like, scouring in the search i'm like wait what is her username like why can i not find it so then i'm like uh that's odd so i ask my friend for her phone and i pull it up so i'm like am i blocked so i literally have my friend send me her account and i click on it and my ass is blocked so i message him i'm like hey I just went to go tag your best friend in the video we took and I'm pretty sure I'm blocked. And he's like, no way, that would be so weird. Let me go ask her. And I get a message back and he's like, yeah, I guess she blocked you because one time she messaged you on Grindr and you blocked her. So here's the thing. I don't remember doing that because typically if I'm not into someone, I just don't respond unless they are like blowing up my messages, which I don't think she's that kind of girl. So. I can't imagine blocking her, but I also was like, babes, you have like 2 million followers. You came across my video and was like, fuck that bitch, I'm blocking it. But the wildest thing about it to me was that she was so nice when I was talking to her and so willing to take the TikTok, was like having a full conversation with me. And like, if I was blocking a bitch, I would be like, hey, no, I'm busy. So yeah, this was not very demure of her. Now that we've seen that, the update that we have is that Jules LeBron, the very demure girl, has responded. And she posted this on TikTok. She said, literally followed him because he reminded me of my little brother, EQ. And then she put ex-lover, ha ha ha. Then other people chimed in and said, I actually blocked him too, and so on and so forth. So that's the update on that situation. So... Let me know what you think about that. I feel like back then he didn't want her. Now she's hot. She He's all on her. You know what I'm saying? That's the truth. 
Back then, they didn't want you. Now you're hot. They're all on you. All right, guys. This is Rich Lux with the hottest celebrity news on YouTube. Mwah.